This is Boundless Hope, the video devotion from St. Matthew Lutheran Church in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois. So the chief priests made plans to put Lazarus to death as well, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. That's John 12, 10 to 11. It's in the Bible right after Lazarus is raised from the dead by Jesus. A lot of times I get caught up in, I forget about Lazarus after he rises from the dead. Jesus raises him from the dead and then I move right on in the story of Jesus to how Jesus rises from the dead. But I'm reminded in this chapter of John that Lazarus' life was not the same. Jesus didn't raise him to life again so that he could go back to the way things were, go back to a normal life. No. Because of what Jesus did for Lazarus, Lazarus' life was in danger. The people that wanted Jesus dead also wanted Lazarus dead. Because people were hearing the story. And they weren't putting their trust in Lazarus. Lazarus was pointing them to Jesus. And the people who wanted Jesus dead wanted nothing better than to get rid of this upstart. To get rid of this story. And that's a, an encouragement, but also a warning for you and I as well. We are also raised from the dead. Spiritual death by the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the enemies of Jesus will also be looking to get rid of us. Because as we live our new lives in the life of Jesus, we're going to want to tell other people about Jesus and they're going to leave their old way of life. They're going to leave their old idols and all the things that were drawing them away from God. And that's not going to make the devil happy. He's going to want to come after us as well. So be warned, but be, also be encouraged. We were dead once. We cannot be dead again. Lazarus died twice but he's still alive because Jesus, who died, lives forever. And our eternal life awaits us. So in the meantime, let's continue to tell other people about Jesus and bring other people to Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for raising Lazarus to life again through the words of Jesus and also for bringing us life through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Help us to not be discouraged when people attack us because we are followers of Jesus. Help us to be strengthened in our faith through your word and sacrament so that we can pray for our enemies, love them, and tell them the good news about Jesus and hopefully turn their hearts, or at least the Holy Spirit will use us and turn their hearts to Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's Boundless Hope video devotion. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky, inviting you to join us for Boundless Word. That's uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays when they drop, and you can hear reading of God's Holy Word and praying of the Psalms. Join us for worship on the weekends, Saturday at 4 o'clock, Sunday mornings at 8 and 1045. We are live streamed, but you can also join us in person if you're in the Hawthorne Woods area. That's the Lake Zurich, Illinois area, northwest suburbs of Chicago. Pray that God will richly bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Join me again next time.